the Indian government is promoting chemical free natural farming in the country. Did you know that 2.7% of the total area under agriculture in India is already farmed through natural methods? But what exactly is natural farming? And is it the same as organic farming? These are two terms used synonymously in India. But when you say organic, it means it's certified. And though both natural and organic farming eliminate chemical fertilizers and pesticides, organic farms are okay with biofertilizers purchased as inputs. But those suggesting natural farming say that not even these inputs are required as the farm itself can generate them. One of the schools of thought within natural farming is zero budget natural farming, popularized by agriculturist Subhash Palikar and known by his name. His approach a concoction of natural inputs like cow urine, cow dung, jaggery, lime and neem to improve soil health and reduce money spent on external chemical inputs. But is natural farming better than what is considered conventional chemical farming? Well, it's hard to answer that question with a definitive yes or no. India became food secure by using farming practices using chemical fertilizers, pesticides and high yield variety of seeds. But the overuse of these agrochemicals damage human skin, the digestive system, the brain, lungs and can even cause cancer. This is why experts suggest moving away from these harmful farm inputs. Yet, there are debates on the impact of discarding conventional practices, especially where soils are nutrient deficient and crops wouldn't grow without these chemicals. In terms of agricultural yield, different studies have varied findings. For example, while one report says 41% of the times yields were highest with the organic approach, 33% of the times it was higher with an approach integrating organic and chemical farming. Yet another report says that yield levels drastically reduced with natural farming by 59% in wheat and 32% in basmati rice. This could be a challenge for India's food security and the income of its farmers who make up 43% of India's workforce. In addition, organic products are usually three to four times more expensive due to higher labor and handling costs, certification and lower yields. It's because of all these reasons, one report said that condemning the tech that ushered in the green revolution wasn't justified. It was the injudicious, indiscriminate and excessive use of agrochemicals, which should be blamed for negative impacts on environment and health. Some say scientific conventional farming can actually be considered closer to natural farming than most think. It involves the use of both organic manures as well as chemical fertilizers, but only where it's required. Over the next six months, learn more from India Spend's multi-part series on natural farming.